mind. Unlocked. Battle of the Brains on CBS 6. Presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And good morning. I'm Cheryl Miller. Welcome to Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. Today, we're kicking off season 12 of the program here on CBS 6. Our competitors this morning, the Chargers of Isle of Wight Academy from Isle of Wight, Virginia. Their coach is Janet Huber. The Chargers traveled to Richmond from Isle of Wight here in Virginia, which is about 90 minutes southeast of the capital city. Also on our show today, the Lions of Louisa County High School, coached by Tom Jordan. The Lions are from Mineral, Virginia, which is about 45 minutes west of Richmond. Our match today will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Before we get underway, good luck to the teams and hands on your buzzers. Let's start the first toss-up round. Which British general surrendered his army to the French and American forces at Yorktown in 1781? Michael. Cornwallis. That is correct. Damascus is the capital of which Middle Eastern country? Syria. That is correct. And Peyton, wait for me to call on you, okay? What 11-letter word is defined as a person who hates people? Peyton. Pessimist. That is incorrect. Louisa? That would be a misanthrope. What is the fifth note of the G major scale? Mason. D. That is correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. What is the product of 577 and 36? And time ran out on that. It would be 20,772, just multiplication. On a mortgage loan, what is the name of an account held by the lender into which a borrower pays money for taxes and insurance? Mason. Esco. That is correct. In 2014, Angelina Jolie was named one of these by Queen Elizabeth. What is the honorary title for the female version of a knight? Emily. Dane. That is correct. This work features the characters Siegfried von Rothbart, Princess Odette, who is cursed to become a swan by day and human at night. James. Swan-like. That is correct. By what name is the French and Indian War known in Europe? Trey. Seven Years War. That is correct. After a single term in the U.S. House of Representatives, this politician used his contacts to become a successful lobbyist and corporate lawyer. Returning to politics as a Republican, he took the U.S. presidential oath of office in 1861. Name him. Michael. Abraham Lincoln. Correct. A were-beaver turns up in Thomas Pynchon's 1997 novel about which famous pair of surveyors who created the invisible line between the North and the South during the Civil War? Trey. Mason and Dixon. That is correct. In 2003, some members of the U.S. House of Representatives directed several congressional cafeterias to rename French fries as Freedom Fries after the French government refused to support the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq. During World War I, the term Liberty Cabbage was used to market which German fermented vegetable product? Trey. Sauerkraut. Correct. This rhetorical object was introduced at the Democratic Party's 1896 National Convention at which Williams Jennings Bryant thundered that mankind should not be crucifi crucified upon it. Mason. Cross of gold. That is correct. The coining of money encouraged by first Greek and later Roman traders first appeared in Britain among what pre-literate inhabitants of the island? Mike Mason. The Saxons. That is incorrect. Isle of Wight. It was the Celts or Celts. In children, first teeth fall out between the ages of 6 and 12. Excluding the third molars or wisdom teeth, by the end of adolescence, how many permanent teeth are normally in place? Mason. 32. That is incorrect. Isle of Wight. 28. That is correct, Emily. Rivaling religious explanations of the beginning of the world, name the theory proposing that the universe was created in a gigantic explosion. Peyton. The Big Bang Theory. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Twice the sum of 10 and a number 
is 28. What is that number? Emily. Seven. That is incorrect. Louisa? Trey. Four. That is correct. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. Good job to our teams. There's a lot more Battle of the Brains ahead. Coming up next, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll tackle the category round, so stay with us. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Isle of Wight Academy with 50 points and Louisa County High School with 90 points. Right now, we're going to take a break in the questions to meet today's players, and then they'll play the category round here on Battle of the Brains. We begin by meeting our team joining us from Isle of Wight Academy. The Chargers are coached by Janet Huber. Our first team member is James McRoy. James is a senior at Isle of Wight Academy and wants to study at VCU in their film program. Next up is Peyton Bayless, who is a sophomore. She's a varsity cheerleader, has a black belt in Taekwondo, and is a member of the Junior National Junior Honor Society. Next up is the team captain from Isle of Wight Academy. Emily Hooker is a senior. Emily served as a people-to-people -people student ambassador to Europe. She tap dances and plans to major in biology in college. And wrapping up our team from Isle of Wight Academy is Jake Newman. Jake is a sophomore. He enjoys music and video games. He also plays soccer. Those are our chargers joining us today from Isle of Wight Academy. Now let's meet our team from Louisa County High School. The Lions, their coach is Tom Jordan. First up is Chris Tomasello. Chris is a senior who's been playing bass trombone for seven years now. He hopes to major in computer science. Next up is the team captain from Louisa County High School, Mason Robinette. Mason is a senior. He's the drum major of the marching band and hopes to study aerospace engineering. Next up is Michael Phillips. Michael is a senior. He plays the saxophone and he hopes to study medieval and renaissance studies in college. And wrapping up the team is Trey Chisholm. Trey is a senior at Louisa County High School. He is a senior goalkeeper on the varsity soccer team and would be willing, he says, to go to Princeton. <laughs> That is our team from Louisa County High School. Great to have both of our teams with us today. Now it's time to see how you do in our category round. Each team will select one 10-question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its answers correct in the allotted time, they will receive a 20-point bonus. All right, team, take a look. Here are today's categories from which you may choose. They are Spider-Man villains, women in U.S. history, and rock band names. Louisa County High School is in the lead, so they get first choice of category. And note in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to come up with the correct answer. Mason, what would you and your team like to play? We're going to go with Spider-Man villains. All right, I will give you a clue. You name the villain. The first one is mob boss obese. Pass. That would be Kingpin. Dr. Kurt Connors' alter ego. Doc Ock. That would be Lizard. Alias Flint Marco wears a striped green shirt. Sandman. Correct. Evil doer with tentacles. Doc Ock. Correct. Insane Norman Osborn. Green Goblin. Correct. Eddie Brock and an alien symbiote. Venom. Correct. Editor of the Daily Bugle. Pass. That'd be Jonah Jameson. Criminal that discovers the Green Goblin's lair. Pass. Hobgoblin. An early foe, a carnivorous bird. Hawk. That'd be Vulture. And finally, Native American industrialist Thomas Fireheart. Pass. Better known as Puma. That's a tough category. Good job on that. Got a few answers in there. All right, Isle of Wight Academy, your choice. Either women in U.S. history or rock band names. Emily, what would you and your team like to play? Rock band names. All right, answer the following from the clues given. For example, if I said female royalty, the answer would be queen. All right, first one is alternating current, direct current. ACDC. Correct. The Brady Bunch made in bondage. The Partridge Family. That would be Alice in Chains. Dark Sunday. Black Sabbath. Correct. Smooch. Kiss. Correct. 
The murderers. The killers. Correct. The national bird. The eagles. Correct. Enlightenment. New thinking. The nirvana. Moving boulders. Rolling stones. Correct. Heavy dirigible. Metallica. The Led Zeppelin. And breathing hard with a hissing noise. Pass. That would be Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> That was a fun category. Good job, teams. As you watch Battle of the Brains today, we invite you to take a moment to get to know more about our show. You can find us at facebook.com slash battle of the brains. And still ahead, our teams go head to head in another toss up round, so stay with us. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Isle of Wight Academy with 80 points and Louisa County High School with 110 points. And now back to the match and another toss-up round. Teams, hands on your buzzers. What is the SI base for measuring the amount of a substance? Emily. Grams. That is incorrect. Louisa. Chris. Balls. That is correct. The six crises referred to in the book by the same name include the Alger Hiss case, the kitchen debate with Nikita Khrushchev, the heart attack of Dwight Eisenhower, and his own 1960 campaign. Name this president brought down by a seventh crisis, Watergate. Mason. Nixon. Correct. In the National Football League, how many points are awarded for scoring a touchdown? Uh, James. Six. That is correct. What word is the title of the fifth book of the Bible and is also defined as this second law or repetition of the law? That would be Deuteronomy. Northern and Southern Soto, Swazi, Zulu, English, and Afrikaans are some of the official languages of what southernmost country of mainland Michael? South Africa. That is correct, mainland Africa. They can have heights of almost 100 feet and reach speeds of close to 500 miles an hour. Characterized by long wavelengths, what is the term for a very large ocean wave caused by an underwater earthquake? James. A tsunami. That is correct. After being kicked out of their home, he was forced to earn a living by the sweat of his brow, and she was cursed to suffer the pangs of childbirth. To top it off, they were also doomed to die. Name the place from which they were exiled after taking the advice of a real snake in the grass. James. The Garden of Eden. Correct. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. Is part of the opening sentence from which book by Charles Dickens? Peyton. A Christmas Carol? That is incorrect. Louisa? Trey? A Tale of Two Cities. That is correct. Which Major League Baseball team plays its home games in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Michael? The Pirates. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. You're calculating the taxes you owe on $40,000. You live in a state that charges 4% tax on the first $15,000 and 8% on any amount above that. How much tax will you owe on your $40,000? And the total would be $2,600. $600 on the first $15,000, 8% of the remaining $25,000 is $2,000. In its last years, before a 1323 earthquake, a mosque was located at its top. Ptolemy I ordered its construction, and it was designed by Sostris of Nidus. Name this ancient wonder of the world that helped Trimes find their way to an Egyptian port at night. Trey. The Lighthouse of Alexandria. Correct. The leader can't hear the bells ringing or see the bouquets and wreaths because he has fallen cold and dead on the deck. In which poem by Walter Whitman does this occur? Mason. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Correct. Name the following law of physics. Unless the force acts upon it, a stationary object will remain at rest and a moving object will continue to travel in a straight line at constant speed. Mason. Law of inertia. That is incorrect. Isle of White. Emily. Newton's first law. We will take Mason's answer. We will accept the answer, all right. It's Newton's first law of motion. 
You may need your pencil and paper for this one. All but one of the interior angles of a certain irregular hexagon are equal. That oddball measures 100 degrees, which allows the measure of the other five to be deduced. What is the measure of each of the hexagon's other five angles? It would be 124 degrees. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round to go, and we'll have today's winner here on Battle of the Brain. Stay with us. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores as we head into this final round this morning on Battle of the Brains. Isle of Wight Academy with 110 points and Louisa County High School with 190 points. Now in this final toss-up round, the point score doubles, but we note so does the penalty for a wrong answer given before I've finished reading the question. Good luck, teams. Growing rapidly in the 1850s, this political party believed that Catholicism and immigration menaced America. By what name was this party known whose 1856 presidential candidate, Millard Fillmore, carried only the state of Maryland? Name the party that had Millard Fillmore as its presidential candidate in 1856. Mason. The Know Nothing Party? That is correct. Ellen DeGeneres, Steven Tyler, and Harry Connick Jr. have all been judges on which long-running television show? Uh, James. American Idol. That is correct. What name is given to a quality like speed or distance, which in contrast to velocity or displacement does not have a direction? Michael. Acceleration. That is incorrect. Isle of Wight. Emily. Vector. It's called scalar. Roy G. Biv is a well-known and well-used acronym to remember the seven colors of the rainbow. What color is represented by the I? Emily. Indigo. That is correct. Its state quarter features the date 1821 when it entered the Union as well as 1804 when the Corps of Discovery began rowing up a namesake river. Name this state whose quarter commemorates Meriwether Lewis and William Clark and features the Gateway Arch. Michael. Missouri. Correct. What is the name given to the region of the chromosome to which spindle fibers attach? Chromatids. Can you repeat that, please? Chromatids. That is incorrect. Isle of Wight. They are called cent centromeres. We were out of time. The Seven Sisters is a collective name given to seven specific women's colleges in the United States. Name any two. Mason. Mary Baldwin in Hampton, Sydney. That is incorrect. Isle of Wight. Emily. Mary Baldwin in Sweetbriar College. They would be Barnard, Bryn Mawr, Mount Holyoke, Radcliffe, Smith, Vassar, and Wellesley. For what do the letters in the name of the government agency, NASA, stand? Michael. National Air and Space Association. That is incorrect. Isle of Wight. Jake. National Aeronautics and Space Administration. That is correct. Sharpsburg is another name for what U.S. Civil War battle? Trey. Antietam. Correct. The Rocky, Rocky II, and Rocky Balboa films were set in which eastern United States city? James. Philadelphia. Correct. What is the name of the cross located on the flag of England? Emily. The cross of St. Arthur. That is incorrect. Louisa. The cross Trey? of St. George. We will accept that. St. George's Cross, yes. In the Western world, the first systematic application of inoculation against the dread de disease smallpox was successfully attempted in what prominent colonial North American city on the orders of Cotton Mather in 1721? Emily. Boston. Correct. Made up of 244,000 acres of grasslands and serrated rock formations, it is a largely a landscape of canyons, steep pinnacles, and buttes. Name the state in which this area, the Badlands National Park, is located. Emily. Arizona. That is incorrect. Louisa. Chris? South Dakota. That is correct. Pencil and paper ready? Jay has a number of coins, exactly one-third of which are dimes. The rest are quarters. If the total value of those coins is $12, how many total coins does Jay have?
would be 60 coins, 20 dimes and 40 quarters. And that buzzer means the end of our match today while our judges double check and tabulate the final score. If you're playing along at home, you can test your knowledge with our weekly brain teaser every Friday with me on the CBS 6 News at noon. Each weekly winner qualifies for drawings for two week-long vacation getaways at the end of our season in June. You could be headed off to Club Landor on Paradise Island in the Bahamas or to Pirate's Cove on North Carolina's Outer Banks. Just go to battleofthebrains.net for details on both vacations and how to play along. And after double checking by our judges, here are our final scores today. Both of our teams played very well. Isle of Wight Academy ends the match today with 210 points. Good job, James, Peyton, Emily, and Jake. Our winners today, the team from Louisa County High School. Congratulations to Trey, Michael, Mason, and Chris. We will see you in the next round. Be sure to join us next week when Battle of the Brains features the Stafford County High School Indians and the Walk in Truth Home Educators. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains. We'll see you back here next Saturday morning. Great job, teams.